like a Hellcat. Hey, welcome back to the channel. All right, we have some exciting stuff to talk about. So it's pouring outside, but that's okay. We're going to get through it. Um, probably have to close this garage here in a minute. It's been running pretty bad. But it's very, very exciting. Dodge has released their new 2019 Red Eye Wide Body Hellcat. And this video is going to be packed full of information. And we're going to directly compare it to the upcoming 2020 GT500 as well. So to get started, so Dodge today has released or to or yesterday has released the red eye and i've got a sheet here so we don't mess anything up the red eye challenger it's a wide body hellcat um this essentially is going to be coupled with the 2.7 liter supercharger that is found on the demon so that's that's awesome there it's going to also have some stronger internals as such because this guy is going to have 797 horsepower and we're still going to stick around with that 707 number except it's what it's going to have in torque 707 pound feet of torque awesome just huge huge power you know the new gt500 is coming out you know ford is still a little hush hush on the power numbers with that thing but we know that it is going to exceed 700 horsepower and um probably it's going to be quite a bit north of that um, I would like to see, you know, somewhere closer to 800, and it very well may. But you can't argue with the fact that 707 horsepower, I'm sorry, 797 horsepower is quite a bit. You know, for, for a street car that you could put groceries in and, you know, just the reliability that all these cars have these days, uh, Dodge is, is nailing it with these things. Now the unfortunate thing is, it still looks like um, it's going to have, you know, the same baby tires that are on this thing, and um, you know, maybe they'll they'll update us a little bit further on that. But uh, it looks like it's still going to have these regular Pirelli Street tires as of right now, which is unfortunate. Um, I really do hope that things change, and then maybe I'm completely wrong, but uh, the research right now shows that it's going to have the same tires, which is just horrible. Now, with that said, though, this thing on street tires is going to run, or it has been running what they're testing, is a 10.8 one fourth mile. And that's at 131 mile an hour. Now, that's fast. For, for any car, you know, th these days, it, it's, so, it's so awesome. You know, these are the awesome days that we are living. You know, back in the day uh, when muscle fart... You know, back in the day when muscle cars, you know, first started coming about and you had all these horsepower wars, you know, back, you know, everybody was competing for the best car. And that has truly been going on, you know, this past decade. And it's just, it's, it's getting out of hand, but um, <laughs> it's awesome. And we all love it. So 131 mile an hour at a 10.8 quarter mile is nothing to frown at. That is awesome. So just imagine what this is going to do on drag radials or an actual dedicated slick. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's going to be a nine-second car maybe. Now carrying on to the weight. So this is unfortunate, but uh, they're not going to uh, decrease the weight of this car uh, for 2019. In 2020, they are talking about it, and it's probably going to be about 300 pounds lighter or so but for the 2019 it's still going to weigh around 4400 pounds so it's a big heavy car it still is so when you order this wide body um some of the cool things that are cosmetically going to change are on you know the hood we've all seen those teasers before uh it's going to have these uh two snorkels on the hood and they are functional just like a regular hellcat um, you get a bigger blower you're going to have more heat so you need to be able to cool all of that down. You're also going to be able to get a bigger rear spoiler on your wide body. Now in line with this thing, you're still going to be able to get the narrow body Hellcat. And they are going to increase the horsepower for that. So that looks to be 717 horsepower. And uh, there's, there's going to be a price difference. I don't know what that is yet uh, between the two. But if it's affordable, you know, if you can make that jump, 
797 horsepower is the way that I would go. Let me know how you feel. And, um, you know, this was bound to happen, you know, with the killing off the, the Dodge Demon uh, with 840 horsepower, you know, they have to advance the product line. Now that that car is gone, this is the way that they're going to do that. Now, the cool thing is, is 840 horsepower in the Demon, you had to swap the PCM and you had to do stuff like that. This thing is going to be out of the box, 797 horsepower on pump gas, 91 bare minimum. That is astronomically awesome. You don't have to swap nothing over. You just hop in the car and you have almost 800 horsepower at your disposal all of the time. It's great. There's also going to be a couple of things that are going to transfer from the Demon into this wide body red eye such as the killer chiller so that's found on the demon and it's awesome because you could turn the car off and uh, turn it back on you know after your runs and use the ac to cool off the engine so that's something really important that you should definitely have for drag racing you know it's really cool that you're going to have this stuff from the factory so you're also going to get line lock which is awesome and I don't know why they didn't include line lock on these cars from the factory, but it is great to see that Dodge is getting with the program here. Torque Reserve is another awesome upgrade. So the way Torque Reserve works is it basically builds um, about 3 PSI boost, as I understand it, uh, from a sit still. So you don't have to, when you accelerate, you don't have to, you know, build up boost from zero. It's already going to be pretty much stacked, like a two-step, I guess, if you will. Um, from the start from zero when you accelerate so that way you're jumping into the power band a lot faster last cool feature about this thing is 309 gears you're gonna have the option to have 309 gears uh, right from the factory you don't have to swap that stuff over from the uh, the 262s it, it'll helps you get out of a dig faster it, it makes the car feel a lot more peppy we all know how gears work and it's just nice to know that you can get that from the factory and you don't have to go to like a scat pack or something like that and, and steal them out of that car and pay more money but uh with that said the 262s for high speed runs and for modified cars are probably going to be your better choice so if i bought one it would def i'd probably definitely go with the 262s because once you start throwing power at it if you have the 309 gears um you're going to have a lot of traction problems and with the, the crappy tires you know that are still coming on this uh you know it's just one of those things to think about so how is this going to compare to the 2020 gt500 well, there's still quite, unfortunately, a bit of information that we do not know about that car as of yet. We do know that there is going to be an automatic transmission option. Don't know if it's going to be a built-up 10-speed or, you know, some kind of dual clutch. A dual clutch would be nice, um, very fast. But we're going to have to wait and see. You know, the cosmetics of that car look awesome. Excellent-looking car. It's definitely going to be light, it's going to be extremely fast, and it's going to be road course worthy. You know, with some of the uh, pre-existing footage that has been going around the internet, uh, you can hear it here. So yeah, we definitely know that there is going to be an automatic option uh, in the GT500, and that is awesome very very welcome news and really does open up the door to you know a whole different side of uh consumers because not everybody wants a stick shift and i myself am kind of done with stick shift too but it is hard to argue the fact that uh you know an automatic will outperform you know a stick shift manual on road course um you know they still do have their place in this world today and they rightfully should but out of that car with north of 700 horsepower out of the GT500, um, Dodge has really done it, I think. Um, they've really stepped up the game here. We're going to have a, a lot of competition. You know, um, the Mustang crowd versus the Dodge Mopar crowd, um, it's, it's going to be a toss up. You know, I'm not really quite sure anymore what I would go with. That new red eye looks awesome, especially with the advertised. Um, videos that we see it being in that silver color it looks very menacing um it looks basically it's like a, a baby demon if you will 
Um, and I think that it's probably going to outperform the Demon in some ways, you know, especially for just an out of the box car that you don't have to swap anything over. It's, it's going to be awesome. You have 797 horsepower right at your fingertips without doing any work to the car. You know, it's really cool that, you know, the Demon came with the Demon crates and you can option all those, these, those add-ins for an extra dollar, which was, which was awesome. And who wouldn't do that? But, um, I think out of the box from the factory showroom floor, it's going to be very, very hard to beat, even though it still weighs a lot. So yes, at the end of the day, there's still a lot that we don't know about this 2020 GT500. And I am excited as all of you are to find out um, all the nitty gritty details. It's going to be an awesome machine. It's going to be very, very fast. And it's not going to be just a one trick pony. You know, the, the car in the direction of the S550 ever since 2015 and then with the 18s that came out, you know, Ford is really pushing these things to be more road course worthy. So you have the PP1 cars and then they came out with the PP2 cars, which that thunder is something else you hear that that's crazy yeah it's storming pretty bad but the pp2 car is uh it's really a force to be reckoned with um on a budget on the road course all right so like i said uh continue watching and i'm gonna roll some footage uh released by dodge that covers the new release so with that said well, before you watch this they have also introduced a new scat pack um, or I'm sorry, the new 392, and it is a wide body. Now, when we look at this footage that you're about to see, you're going to notice that it is basically a Hellcat. Same hood, same bumper, same everything, except the front grille is a little bit different. But I have a huge problem with this. It looks just like a modern-day uh, narrow Hellcat. Um, I, I do like the fact that it kind of looks meaner and beefier, but it, it's so it's a, it's a wide-body 392 um, built like a Hellcat, and um, I just think that it should have been more diverse. I think that it looks too similar, and um, you know that is unfortunately something that Dodge does do is they copy a lot of the stuff down to their other models instead of diversing them up a little bit as far as uh, the way that they do look and I think it's unfortunate you know it makes the Hellcat that we have now a little less special if you ask me but I'm going to quit rambling and we're going to jump to some of the release Dodge footage and uh, let you make up your mind and uh, of what you like and um, definitely comment below what you think about all of this and uh, maybe what direction should I go in the future because I've already been hinting at another car in the next year or so for the channel so with that I do want you to subscribe hit the thumbs up and like uh, this video share it around if you will and uh, it would definitely uh, be something that I'd appreciate and also turn your notifications on so definitely very important you turn those notifications on so you don't miss this stuff. This is like the fourth video I've done this week, and uh, we have them rolling out quite a bit. Uh, we got three cars. I'm going to jump right into uh, uh, the, the first launch today. Uh, so I'm going to be introducing to you uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack Wide Body. All right, a couple things about the, uh, the Wide Body. Uh, first of all, under the hood is a 392 V8. Uh, it has a best-in-class 485 horsepower. Um, naturally, you're going to notice next on the wide body that it's three and a half inches wider uh, with the wide body, which allows for improved performance and handling. The second car is one in which you guys are familiar, familiar with as well. Um, so let's introduce the 2019 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. So naturally, uh, we sent out a few sneak peeks of the, uh, the Hellcat. Some of you had an opportunity to, uh, to see the dual snorkel hood. That's the big news that we have here today for the, uh, for the Hellcat. It's actually a functional hood. So inside the, uh, the, the left side here of the, uh, the, the hood snorkel um, allows 18% additional airflow um, into the inlet box. Uh, that additional air uh, allows us to have an additional 10 horsepower. So today, the 2019 Hellcat, 717 horsepower, 656 pound-foot of torque available on the Hellcat. So without further ado, let's introduce the final car. It is our 2019 Dodge Challenger 
Hellcat Red Eye. So you'll notice a lot of uh, the features uh, that waterfall from the Hellcat straight over uh, to the vehicle from a performance standpoint. Um, but what's key here is, is a couple of factors. Number one, I like to view this car as the best of the Hellcat and the best of the Demon now into one vehicle. In fact, my line is that it's a Hellcat that's been possessed by the Demon. And that's what you have here with the red eye. Underneath the hood, 797 horsepower. 707 pound-foot of torque available on this vehicle. Um, it's basically the Demon engine with a slightly different calibration that allows the horsepower and torque stats that I just spoke to you about. 